if the question asks you to find the enthalpy change for the following reaction using enthalpies, we're going to look at our reactants, our products, and we're going to figure out, all right, what's being broken, what's being formed, and what the enthalpy change is for that. So in our reactants, we have to break these apart. We have to break them apart so we can form our products. So this is going to be an endothermic process. So the value for our bond enthalpy is going to be positive. And we're forming these. So if we're forming these, it's going to be an exothermic process. So the value of our enthalpy is going to be negative. So if we start calculating this stuff, we have CH4. So we have four CH bonds in there. So it's four times 414. And then plus, we have two molecules of water. Well, in each molecule of water, so we have two times two molecules of water. In each, in each one, we have an OH bond, but we have two of those. So we have two times 464. And then minus, we're going to start looking at our bonds that are forming. So we have four times hydrogen gas. Well, each hydrogen gas has a 436 kilojoule per mole for this HH bond. So we have four times our 436. And then plus, we have our CO2. Well, in CO2, we have two carbon double O bonds. So we have two times 799. So when we add this up, this is going to equal positive 170 kilojoules per mole. So that is our total reaction enthalpy.